Hello, everyone. Pally Tum here. Welcome back to Izzy's Fizzies, our local soda bar. Welcome back to Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I had a date with the new you machine, and I'm feeling great. We respect our character and also made a new banner for our character. I think that looks really good. But I wanted to show you exactly what we changed because uh, I know a few of you are following along at home, trying out our build as we're trying it out. Uh, we had points er early invested in prestidigitation, and the reason for this is because, well, we did not have two spells yet. We were still using the polymorph, so in the early game, being able to reload faster just means I'm able to fire more bullets downrange. However, now that I'm able to spam out multiple spells with ambihextrous, that becomes a little less valuable. So, we put two points into spell critical hit chance. We have a 24% increase to our crit hit with spells. We also have 45% of our spell damage being converted into extra gun damage here. Now, every time we shoot a spell or reload, we gain a spell damage stack up to five. That's a 50% increase, and that's also going to be increasing our gun damage now as well. To go along with this, our spell cooldown rate and action cooldown rate is reduced by 20%. That's pretty huge because we want to be shooting off spells as often as we can for our spell weaving bonuses. Now we take that a step further and every time we gain a new stack of spell weaving, it's also going to restore 10% of our ward, making us significantly more tanky. We also redistributed our stats and i am all in on intelligence bro i am there 22 percent spell cooldown reduction from this we have cooldown reduction from this uh do, we don't get any from spell weaving no but we should be able to spam this stuff out like crazy at least that is the goal the more spells we use the happier we shall be. Now, believe it or not, I think we've run out of goblins to help in this game. Our main quest is still to find a bard. But, I mean, there's quests located all over the tavern in here. And, well, we are Paladin Mike Squire at the end of the day, so we must answer the call. There's more war to be fought. Okay. The enemies are on the move. Our scouts report multiple encampments nearby. I need you to go squash them before they can mount another assault on Bright. Yeah, that would be terrible. Another siege could be terrible. Clear camps in the overworld. We have a mission. Yes, Paladin Mike, right away. You know, I think we actually have a few quests out here in the overworld that we've needed to do. Now, when he says camps, oh, he means these over here. Okay, what's this quest? We might do this at the same time. How's your chiseling skill? I'm Belvedance, the world's first influencer. That means I'm professionally hot. My family is <laughs> that that to look at me, <laughs> so I need you to carve my likeness into some rocks. I could do that, sure. Like this rock right here. Oh, so we're looking for three camps. We're looking for three camps in the open world. We're also looking for three rocks that we can carve her likeness oh, into. You there. And Nicholas over here wants something. Help me advance science. Nicholas needs help advancing the very real science of alchemy. Well, he's the second alchemist we've seen. It must be real. I am in the scientific race of a lifetime. My brothers think they can perfect alchemy before me. <laughs> My aggressive experiment schedule has broken my cauldron. Go and mine lead from the mountains so that I can defeat my brothers. So you need lead for your cauldron, which is cracked. I mean, that's a valid point. All right, I'll get right on it. Whoa, it's another mimic. Is it going to grab me? <laughs> I guess I probably, I probably should have hit that. I probably should have hit that. It's a mimic combat encounter. Uh, okay. Well, this is a good opportunity to try out our spell spamming. Let's give it a go. One mimic in the middle of town. Scratch that. Lesser mimics also being spawned in, but I know who's in charge. I know who to focus down. The shields of these guys does seem to be holding for the time being, but we are going to keep swapping out between 
our grenades. We're gonna do it. Now, the, unfortunately, this mimic got all of its armor back. He's shooting scrolls at me. Let's make sure we avoid those. Shield is going down and the fire is hitting, but he pulls me in with his tongue. Hold on, we got a new grenade. Charge it up, send it. Fly through. Now, my status effect damage did take a pretty big hit with our respec. Our wisdom got lowered by a lot, but if we're able to keep sending out that many projectiles, I'm kind of hoping it just won't matter. Mimic taken down. Hold on, I might want this. No, 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 baby mimics. I don't want to kill babies. What? That feels terrible. A Teteor. SMG. Let's see if we like it. What's it do when we reload it? It turns into a Hydra! Bro, that's pretty cool, man. That is pretty cool. All right, Mimic, done. Hit this, done. Great pose. The dance fam is gonna love this! Yeah, I hope so. I, I hope they love it. Looks like the last of her rocks are actually above me here. So we have to take the rainbow bridge across. What's up, dude? Thanks for the bridge again. And this looks like this leads to where the lead is for the cauldron. So all these side quests kind of in the same spot, all bundled together for us. That's really nice. There is a lot of tall grass here though. Oh, and that's one of the camps on the other side. How do I get up to this die? Oh, and there's one of those encounters that just spawned in. He doesn't move super quick. I'm gonna do this camp. Got him. Maybe the camp leads up to the dice. We're fighting goblins this time. Corrosive, not likely to be effective against most of them, but against the Trixlers, <laughs> Tricksters, it should get the job done. Can I have more than one Hydra out? Oh my God, I can. Hold on, so we could just set up, oh, it's a badass, good, good, good. I'm just gonna set up a bunch of Hydras to spam down his armor, and then when his armor's gone, we'll focus him with spells. Oh my God, that was pretty good. So first impression, I'm actually giving myself shields back pretty regularly, it seems. I've been pretty tanky in here. One of our, this, this grenade does siphon life off enemies, so maybe that's why I wasn't noticing it as much. But we absolutely smashed that. That was really good. Well, this camp wasn't that hard to clean out. It seems like we're just gonna do a few uh, combat encounters and then meet back with Paladin Mike. But hey, he's keeping the city safe. We gotta trust him, we're his squire. You sent those wankers packing. I sure did, Mike, thanks. And of course there's, wait, what's this over here? Getting a real contains a shrine piece vibe from that dungeon over yonder. Shrine piece vibe, okay. All right, I'm interested. Now this is why I told you about my talent build early on in the video. This is the glass cannon talent. If we take this, our wards no longer recharge automatically. So the only way we're gonna fill them back up is with mage armor, but we get a whopping 30% spell damage increase that stacks with magic bullets. And we have so much cooldown reduction that hopefully we just fire off spells like crazy now. At least that's what we're hoping. I um suddenly do feel like maybe some more points in constitution might not be a bad idea. But then again, I don't I don't have a ward. So maybe it would be. Let's just put it we could always change it later if we don't like it. Let's just put a couple points in. So this has a shrine piece. To what shrine? Have we collected any to another shrine yet? I know we finished the green one early on with Backstabber McStabberson. What are we fighting here? Oh, trolls. See what that damage is like. These seek? Oh, bro. We're kind of chunking. We're doing all right. Troll Witch Doctor on the ground. That's a big guy. That's a big enemy. This will be a really good test. Hold on. Make sure we get the aim right. Fire down right on top of him as well. Good critical hits in there. 
And then our weapon damage is still pretty good. Still pretty good. Are our shields keeping up? We're at 64 right now. Here, I'm just going to channel this over here. That didn't lock on at all. If I reload, do I get ward back? Hold on, is that actually a thing? Every time I reload, I get a little bit of shields back. So I'm seeing how reload time from our talent tree could be a lot more desirable. I could see how it'd be good. We'll see. So far, I've been pretty pretty durable for these three seconds. Look at this, we're already able to spam out again. I think we have a really good setup of grenades for this too. Where we can keep like constant pressure on an enemy with them. If our cooldowns would long was were longer, this may not feel as good. Bro, when we get all of our stuff together though, we are looking pretty deadly. I mean, rock trolls are big enemies. We killed them in like six seconds. That's not bad at all. I've literally been tanking the damage from all of these guys. Just spinning around in circles forever. This is looking pretty good, my dudes. Spell slots are ready. Oh, an epic quality pistol. Doesn't seem too great. I mean, I really like my Jacobs. That's kind of the problem. It's been absolutely destroying stuff. I'll bring it with me. I'll think about it. So, I didn't see a shrine piece anywhere. Is Multiple steps to this one. Good. I'm fighting people and... On, yeah, I'm fighting dudes. And... and oh, that was a good grenade. Instead of goblins this time. In the same dungeon. You know, these challenges kind of feel like the old arenas in Borderlands, where you would just get in and fight stuff for the sake of fighting stuff. Only just shall remain. And I'm definitely not saying that is a bad thing. I really enjoyed the arenas. Just getting a similar vibe. We did it. Will we get our shrine piece for this, though? Looks like another gun chest. I do love my stuff. With a big sniper rifle in it. Uh, I don't think it's better than what I have now, but I'll sell it. Another encounter! What are we fighting this time? You're not long for this war. Bandits again. <laughs> Good start. It looks like this thing is actually doing damage in the middle as well. Maybe I can keep the bandits here. Good damage on the assassin as he tries to flank around. I'll show you guys at least one encounter. It seems like we're going to be doing a lot of these today, and I, I didn't want you to feel like you had to watch everyone, but you might as well see what we're up to on these. Those Seekers do hit the Brigand on the side. That's very good for me. I didn't hold the button down there. That was on me. Assassin going invisible. Dodge, dodge all of those fireballs. I'm actually not sure where he is. He just crossed the corner there. We need to stay away from him. We can send some AoEs around the corner. Actually get him airborne there. Good damage, good damage. We're backing up, though. I hear more coming in. I don't want to be near them. The belly! No time for prayers. Hey, we're at 28,000 gold again. That's not bad at all. I actually spent most of our money in town buying ammo increases for literally every kind of gun. I just bought the cheapest one of each until I ran out of money. Oh, this badass brigand seems to be having a hard time getting out of the corner. We do have Seekers again. Those will go around this obelisk thing, right? Well, maybe not. We're taking a lot of damage, too. I'm hearing some yelling. Ooh, unlike all of the other trials, our goal is to kill all enemies here. Where in the past, we just had to clear the encounter. So the other ones were infinitely respawning enemies. Where it seems like this time, these guys are actually locked in here with me. Good fire damage. That is enough to take down the brigand. We see another in the corner. This one not badass, though. I fear you won't fare as well as your friend. What is this? Buckethead? Firing off explosives into the corner we were in. <gasps> and we do go down for the first time. Good damage on the brigand. We can melee to get back in. Oh, he came out of that thing in the middle? No way. Ready to cast. 
I gotta do a lot of casting to get my shields back up. But I think we can do that. Assassin running towards us. We finish him off with the sniper rifle. Buckethead has barely taken any damage at this point. Seekers do go out just clipping him. Oh, I need to reload for more shields. Holy crap. I'm really not sure what's doing that much damage to me. Uh, let's just reload again for more shields. Buckethead moving into the corner. Let's move to the other side. Try to clear out this area if we can. Colt is coming up behind us. He's taken down. Damage on Buckethead. Hopefully those Seekers find their mark. Okay, and our shields are looking all right. Hmm. He seems pretty accurate with his gun, and he is dodging my spells pretty well. Fireball's out again, and I'm having a hard time anticipating his movements. He does ignite there. He's on his back. We're moving in. Be aggressive. Fireball. Wow, last fireball was a lot more successful than that. We might go down here, but we'll be okay. The reload gives us shields, and we live. Looks like Matek's back on the menu. Well, I picked a good one to commentate. That was actually the most action-packed one so far. You see a shrine piece? I do. Uh, find all the shrine pieces. Which one is this for? You get a shrine piece. Zumios is the name of the shrine. Four total pieces. We have one of them right now. Good. Good. All right, back to getting... Lead? <laughs> right? I like how we can see off the play area a little bit. Like, though, these are Tiny Tina's books, and that's her actual TNT that she has tied up. Because of course it is. I said in an earlier episode, I really like that quests, side quests, seem to lead into one another, and this is another great example. I couldn't have gotten over to this side if it wasn't for that dude hammering down there on that house. He's the one who made the rainbow bridge. And all of these quests kind of lead into the same oh, spots geez. down here. So hot. Come on back. There was a dungeon I saw. We're at 9 out of 10 ore right now and we've just been going around this circle. Uh, there is a dungeon I saw over here. It looks like it's a mine. Not only do we have to break the trees down out front to gain access. Wait, that's a different camp, isn't it? I have to do this camp too. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, that is a different camp. I'll do this camp first. I'm really liking the flow of this setup so far. This has been a great success. I'm literally just spamming out spells in every direction, like every five seconds. Well, that going for you. And because I'm casting him so much, I'm actually crazy tanky. Now I feel like if we can find a shield with a really high capacity, we're going to be in a great spot. Because obviously, regen rate and uh, regen delay don't matter at all anymore. And usually that's what you weigh pretty heavily. If I could just get a big shield, we're going to be set. I'm going to be refilling it constantly. And I do think that is an argument for raising my constitution. We would be super duper tanky. Now, because this is a dungeon, it's probably going to have multiple phases again as well. We have goblin tricksters running up towards us. I don't have any corrosive damage to actually pressure him out of his box. Sometimes they like to throw badasses in those things, but it looks like it's just a tinkerer this time. Where did you come from? <laughs> and there he goes. Let's see if the theory was right. No, it wasn't. Okay, I got the shrine piece. How do I? Oh, I just go through here to get out. So that's two out of four for shrine pieces. All of the lead cleared. Itself. Quickly now, bring that lead here. Will do. I want to get this, but I'm saving it. I'm saving it. Oh, that's the shrine over here. It's the blue one over by the Cheeto. Wait, is this a shrine piece too? No. Does the sign next to it mean I already cleared it? I mean, I did kind of go this way. Oh, I don't think I cleared this. You smell it? Coming from that dungeon? That's a shrine piece. I'm going in. Wow, these mushrooms are looking cool. This is a good reminder that we are needed inside of the dank forest. We've just been doing a bunch of side quests instead. Now we are being fought by 
mushroom enemies that I guess we did see them very briefly in that zone, didn't we? I was gonna say we never saw them. You know, I didn't see anything like this though. We just fought some little mushroom dudes. They certainly weren't mortars firing off projectiles into the far distant lands. Oh, those guys look pretty gnarly. This one looks fairly straightforward. We just gotta clear the encounter. That means I need to be the one alive at the end and not them. I did get what looked like an upgrade in the middle of that. I want to show you guys. This is our armor in this game. The new one we have gives us 9.5% uh, spell shot power. So that's a 1% increase. But it's also giving us even more cooldown reduction on our grenades and an increased fire rate. I think the red is... A, oh, it's because it's a decrease from the three that this one gives. That's totally fine. We're using a Jacobs. It'll shoot as fast as we pull the trigger. So now we have effectively seven points inside the talent that's giving us cooldown reduction. That's 8% more. We're at 28% on that now. That's beautiful. This encounter is a long one, though. A shroominer. It's a mushroom summoner. <laughs> well, too bad he, he didn't get to do too much, did he? Oh, this encounter has another pyramid in the middle. So that probably means it's another boss. And it's likely going to be a mushroom boss if it's like any of these enemies. I mean, we did fight a bandit last time, didn't we? Well, first things first, we had to kill enough enemies to get him to come out of the middle. So let's get there. Oh, and while we're doing this, there's goblins up in the rafters cheering on the conflict. Oh, that's big. It's a colony shroom. He's knocking other shrooms off of him. He's kind of like the summoner, right? They're just kind of multiplying. <laughs> Good damage, though. When we take him down before he summons in too many. I think the thing in the middle just exploded. Frond... Frondstrosity. Oh, I wish I had some corrosive damage. Oh, it's another colony chasing after me as well. Well, he kind of looks like he's all hands right now. He actually seemed to have took some pretty big damage from that spike and from that barrel blowing up. Not to, Whoa, and I took a lot from the barrel blowing up. Oh, that might actually cost me. We go down. Can I res anywhere? Yes, the spawnling. Yeah, hero spawnling. Uh, we don't have our homing grenade just yet. Let me kite, let me kite. Here it is, here it is. Go, send it. Fireball might do it. Close. Wait, this barrel's going to be active again. Let me get. Let me get next to it. I feel accomplished. Beautiful. So, do I get a... I get another shrine piece now? Oh, and we leveled up. Nice. Ooh. I think we put points into getting spell crit. Uh, that's, that's another thing. Because our strength is so low, our passive crit chance is actually at a negative five. But with this talent... It increases our crit chance for the main way we're dealing damage by quite a considerable amount. One more shrine piece is all we need. The patron god, a power walking. Now, where do you think the last piece actually is? All right, first things first, let's talk to the influencer. You made me look gorge in front of my fans. So now you can look gorge in front of yours. If you have any. I might have a couple. <laughs> one or two, one or two. You know, I do all right. Hey, Nicholas. I am back. Oh, that's the shrine piece over there. We shall see who is the true alchemist now, brothers. Your payment. Is my payment a key? Me Midas, for everything I touch shall turn to gold. I wonder if he's going to be turned to gold later. Usually the humor's been pretty on the nose. I do spy a shrine piece, but it is behind a very closed gate. 
Well, not something we can do now. This is the last of the camps we need to take out. And then Pal and Mike should be pretty happy with us. Bro, we literally dominated this. Literally everyone was burning alive in front of me. They could not stop Gary the spell shot. Ooh, that's nice. That seems pretty good. Ah, uh, yes. The build. Are you happy, Paladin Mike? Our enemies are in disarray and they won't be attacking Bright Oof anytime soon. My knight intern is near the forest and he's got a reward for you. If he's still alive. Knight intern. Oh, hey, we were actually right next to him. Hey, bud. Over here, hero. Are you going to open it? Ooh, you done wrecked them bad guys good, hero. Paladin Mike has authorized me to open the Royal Reserve. I don't know what's inside. It's above my pay grade. I have a pretty good idea what's inside. That's all four hey, shrine pieces. Hey, that's the last piece for the shrine of Zumios. Do I have to go to the shrine now, or do I just get the buff passively? I don't remember. Oh, look how lit up it is. Zumios would surely add a spring to his step if you completed his shrine. I did complete the shrine. Rebuild Zumios? the shrine of Zumios. Speeds up your walking speed as you cross the Wonderlands. Nice. Beautiful. We're really zooming now. That's going to do it for today's episode, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. We died in the overworld? Oh. We are going to be back soon with more Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. And maybe, just maybe, trying to find ourselves a bard. Take care. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.